Go ahead and show you how to do day one's dissection. First thing you want to do is remove the tail. Then you want to come in with your probe and kind of lift the skin the whole way up to the head. Yeah, right, right about between the ears. Cut along so that we can kind of work that skin back. You can see it's already kind of pulled down on the left hand side. Now, the muscles we're going to look at here, some of the superficial muscles of the back. And so, right off the bat, we have the trapezius muscles. And so we have this muscle right here that's been identified. That is the spinotrapezius. In cats, there are three separate muscles. In humans, it's one fused trapezius. The next right here is kind of a blocky muscle. has a piece kind of cut out of it. That is the acromiotrapezius. And then running right up here on the neck is the clavotrapezius. Now the trapezius is kind of transition into the deltoid. So if you run down here, there's usually a crease right about here at the shoulder. That's the end of the trapezius. So we have clavotrapezius, and then this muscle that runs right along the um, anterior of the arm, that's the clido um, deltoid, or the clavodeltoid. Right here, with the vein on it, this kind of triangular muscle, that's the acromiodeltoid. And right here, that's the spinal deltoid. So we have the spinal trapezius, acromial trapezius, clidotrapezius or clavotrapezius, clido or clavodeltoid, acromial deltoid, spinal deltoid. Now, if we lift the spinal trapezius and the acromial trapezius, we can take a look at some of these other deeper muscles of the back. And so, when you lift that spine out, Almost immediately, you see this very large muscle. This is part of the latissimus dorsi. So it's been cut and kind of pulled back. 